Bum 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 ba da 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 dum bum bum ba da bum 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 ba da 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 dum bum bum ba da da. Every pony's saying you should learn to express your voice, but if talk doesn't seem like it's the answer, luckily you have a choice. When you find you've got the music, music in you, find you've got the music, music in you. Phew. I still feel very much out of practice when I try to do this. Used to be a lot better. But since I had been getting quite a few requests for more singing, I figured I should try my hand at performing some more MLP music. And it seemed rather fitting to start off this 10,000 subscriber video. And even just saying that sentence seems like such a foreign concept to me. 10,000 people the world over. Wow. I gotta say that I was thrilled back when I had just 500 subscribers. I was overjoyed when I hit 3,000 and people actually liked hearing me sing some of the MLP songs for that milestone. And I still feel that I'm serving good purpose in creating these videos, even when I'm getting close to having 200 of them. I can remember back in 2012, before Season 3 got underway, I would listen to some of the analysis and review videos that were coming out. It started with folks like Straby Skunk and Paleo, until people like ANY, Tommy Oliver, or Brony Curious as he was known back then, and even Digibrony. Of course, I was intrigued by the amount of depth they found in MLP and started learning from their examples. But while I did enjoy most of their opinions, I can remember feeling a bit confused about their views on Fluttershy back then. To be honest, there were moments when ANY would talk about her character and it would make me start thinking about certain details he might have missed. There were moments when Tommy would call Fluttershy Cheesy Gordita, and I wished that I could talk to him about what makes her such an enjoyable and even inspiring character. And when Digibrony posted that video way back in mid-May asking for others to submit their analysis videos for Equestria Daily, I figured it was time to try my hand. And even though I was completely dumbfounded when that video made its way onto the main page only a few hours after its release, I am truly grateful that I made that decision to speak my mind. I honestly don't know what my life would be like nowadays if I hadn't reached out to others. So thank you Digi and ANY for helping to get my mind going on analysis. And also to you Tommy Oliver. I don't think I ever would have started were it not for your cheesy gordita comments. To this day, I still don't know whether you watch any of my videos, but you still influenced me to contribute to the Brony fandom. And it turns out that, to my surprise, the work I've been doing over these past months has actually influenced others as well. Did you know Dr. Wolf got me started on making videos? I'd wanted to do pony analysis for a while, but I was very apprehensive. I was afraid people wouldn't like it. But then... I watched his Encouraging Creativity in the Brony Community video, and it was really motivational. It pushed me over the edge, so to speak. I said, yeah, I'll do it, even if nobody likes it. And then I started work on my Daring Don't review, and look at me now. I got 11,000 subscribers. Ha ha, I win. I first discovered Dr. Wolf uh, through a video on Equestria Daily, where he basically broke down the character of Fluttershy, and even though Fluttershy is actually my least favourite of the main six, the video was actually really convincing. He was able to break down Fluttershy's character in a really kind of interesting kind of way that I hadn't thought about before, and uh, explain why, even though on the surface she may seem to be a bit one-dimensional, uh, she is actually quite a complex kind of character. And Dr. Wolf is really the first reviewer I've come across where it doesn't even really matter to me if he likes the episode or not. I just want to know what kind of thoughts and ideas he has uh, to present uh, after watching the most recent episode about the characters or what's happening in the show based on the episode, really. It, it's not even important to me whether he thought it was good or not. The Rise of the Wolf. A surprisingly tiny wolf as it turned out when he got his avatar designed. And a very calm and pleasant one at that. So much for big and bad leaves only the question what he made his doctor in. If I go by his series A Moment with Dr. Wolf, I would say imaginary psychology. But all the fun aside, how do I know the good doctor? Well, probably as everybody does, thanks to Digi. I mean, Digi featured Dr. Wolf's first video the very same day it got released on Equestria Daily. Talking about being at the right time at the right place. If somebody ever makes a video about success on YouTube, he should put luck in the number one spot if you ask me. But to be honest, it took me a while longer to really catch on to the Dr. Wolf. 
I need my constant dose of overstimulation and Dr. Wolf's quiet and thoughtful manner did not fit in with the usual YouTube junk food I like to consume. And considering that he only now reached the 10k subs, I guess I'm not the only one who needed time to realize what an enrichment Dr. Wolf's contributions to the Brony Analysis fandom are. Always polite, always calm, always thoughtful, never losing his positive attitude without ever falling into fanboy mode. While managing to cover each episode of the new season, he still finds the time to produce many additional videos looking into more original aspects of MLP, other fandoms and general life lessons. I personally thrive on being a smart cynic, but every so often I also look at Dr. Wolf and his kind of passion that is obviously fed by completely different sources than my own. And I feel some kind of longing after getting there someday myself as well. Not in the near future though. I still enjoy the wild and crazy too much to give it up right away. But the idea of having a more positive and smooth way of dealing with things and experiencing that this is even possible here on YouTube is extremely inspiring and uplifting. Especially nowadays with life, including how we spend our free time on the internet, growing more and more fast paced. Having this kind of oasis of serenity within all this crazy MLP analysis worse is something amazing. For that, Dr. Wolf, I honestly thank you. Oh, wow. That was way more than I was expecting. I feel rather honored by such words. It's wonderful to hear that I've been able to influence others by making these videos. I want to sincerely thank each and every person who has helped me to come this far. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the camaraderie. And thank you for your continued support as we strive to make this fandom even better. I look forward to the future. And as always, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.